in this uh, video tutorial we shall see the logic uh, as well as the program to sort an array of unsigned numbers in ascending order <clears throat> so once you are aware of this logic uh, you need to cho and change only one instruction to sort the array in the descending order let us first see the logic of this program right so i have an array here uh, which is stored from the memory location 30. So this array I have to sort in ascending order, right? So it means uh, the expected result is, so I should get 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, right? So that is what I should get now. Now, if I have a block size of n, right? So there will be n minus 1 passes okay and in each pass there will be comparisons equal to the number of passes okay so we shall see that how it happens okay now this is the first pass okay in first pass right so the block size is 5 so n minus 1 means now the pass count is 4 okay and the number of comparisons in that pass count will also be equal to the whatever is the count for the pass right now the logic is as below so in the first pass i will compare the numbers now so here i will compare 5 and 4 right now if 5 is greater than 4 it means what I need to exchange this because I am writing the program for ascending order right so since 5 is greater than 4 so there will be a exchange here right so this will be exchange and 4 will go at the top and 5 will come at 31h right remember the pass count is 4 and the first comparison is over right now here in the next comparison 5 will be compared with 2 so definitely again 5 is greater than 2 there will be an exchange and 2 will go at 31h and 5 will come at 32h so two comparisons are over now in the third comparison 5 is compared with the next number and since 5 is greater than 3, again the numbers are exchanged. Likewise, I will have 4 comparisons. Right? How do I start with? If there are n numbers, there will be n minus 1 passes. Right? So the first pass is n minus 1 is 4. And the number of comparison in that pass will be equal to the pass count. So what do you find is after the comparisons you will see that the largest number has come at the bottom in the first pass. That is what is the observation you have to make. Right? Now the largest number has come to the bottom now. So now we are only worried about the first four bytes because already the largest number has come to the bottom. Right? So now in the next pass, I will decrement the pass count again. The pass count was 4. Now the pass count will be equal to 3. And the comparisons will be equal to the pass count. And what was the last uh, uh, sorted array? We saw that the largest number has come to the bottom location. Right? Now again I will start comparing. So 4 will be compared with 2 because 4 is greater it will be exchanged right so this is the first comparison second comparison third comparison so in the second pass you will see that the second largest number has come to the bottom right again i will decrease the pass count now earlier it was three now it is two right so because the pass count is two the number of comparisons will also be two now i will compare two with three definitely 2 is less than 3, so I will not exchange, I will keep as it is. 
next i will compare 3 with 1 right so 3 is larger so i will exchange and i will get this array right so now the pass count is 2 if i decrement the pass count is 1 right in the last comparison the smallest number will come at the top right because 2 is greater than 1 i will make a exchange and you will see that after exchanging the array will be sorted okay so the logic of the program uh, goes as you have to initialize a pointer to the starting address then you should have two uh, counters one for the pass count and the other for the comparison right and if there are n numbers there will be n minus one passes right and in the first pass the largest number will go to the bottom in the second pass the second largest in the third pass the third largest right and this iteration will be repeated unless all the array has been sorted right so this is the logic of the program now we shall write the code for this so let us write the program for this okay you have to be a bit careful when you exchange okay for that you just consider one scenario you will understand very easily right so currently let us say r0 it is pointing to 30h right so r0 is the pointer which is pointing to 30h and block size is 5 so n minus 1 passes and in each passes we will have the same comparisons right so first let us write this uh, initialization code so i have the count move r3 comma hash 5 this is array size right but i want n minus 1 passes so i will say decrement r3 so this is n minus 1 passes and in each pass i should have the same uh, comparisons okay so i cannot write move r2 comma r3 right or i will keep this in r2 i cannot have this instruction right this is not allowed so what i do is i will copy to accumulator then from accumulator i will copy to r3 so in n minus 1 passes i will also have n minus 1 comparisons right remember initialize the pointer to the starting address after this initialization this is very important okay now i will initialize move r not with hash 30h what do i mean to say is don't write this uh, at the start itself or else you have to do this again and again right now r0 is pointing to memory location 30h right so i will get this data now move a comma at the rate of r0 okay then i need to get the second data so i will increment r0 right to point here r0 is currently pointing to 31h so i will say increment r0 now because i have to use compare jump not equal to uh, so i will copy this uh, data to b, b move b comma at the rate of r0 so as per uh, our initialization a contains 5 and b contains 2 this i am writing temporarily so that you understand the logic right now the next thing is compare jump not equal to a comma b comma next right so after the, whenever we use compare instruction the thing is we actually check for the carry flow now we already know how this instruction works if the contents of accumulator is less than contents of b carry flag will be set it means accumulator contains the smallest so you need not exchange but if uh, carry flag is equal to 1 accumulator contains a larger than the next number 
and uh, as per our initialization 5 is greater than 2 so we need to exchange this so we need to exchange means what now this 2 we have to send it to 5 uh, this location and this 5 has to be sent to this location so we need to exchange these two right so how do we do that now currently so first of all let us write jump on carry to no exchange we need not exchange we will go for the next comparison okay but if it's a no carry we need to exchange right so currently r naught is pointing to 31h right and uh, accumulator contains 5 so this accumulator contents had to be sent to this location so what i will do is move at the rate of r naught comma a right so with this what happened now whatever was in 30h that has been moved to 31h now right and whatever was in 31h that is in b actually and this has to be sent to 30h now for that i need to decrement the uh, pointer right so for that i will say decrement r naught now r naught is pointing to 30h and this 2 it is in register b so i will say move at the rate of r naught comma b right so this logic is to exchange fine now what will i do i have to again come back to the next location itself because i have to compare the next byte right so for that what i will do is again increment r naught because i had decremented it so to compensate that i am incrementing again because after exchange what will happen is this two will go here this two will come here right and this five will come here so i need to compare five with six so because I had decremented the pointer, I will increment the pointer. Fine. Now I will compare 5 with 6. Right. That is n minus 1 comparisons. So R3 contains the comparison count. So I will say DJ NZ R3 comma uh, repeat 1. So my repeat 1 will be here. Right. So, this is the first pass, right? So, in n minus 1 pass, I will do n minus 1 comparisons, right? After this, my pass count is in R2. So, for n minus 1 passes, so decrement jump on non zero R2, comma, repeat 2. So, my repeat 2 will be here, right? So, unless all the passes becomes 0, this will be executed. So this program is a bit complicated compared to other programs. But if you practice, you can do well. The only thing is here. Right? Now let us execute this. Okay. We need not exchange. So that will come here. No. Exceed. right so we shall see this now right okay, I will initially the same data so what we had is uh, 5 2 6 1 and 3 right so 5 2 6 1 and 3 same that I will initialize 5, 2, 6, 1, and 3. So after the execution, I should see 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. Now you may understand better. So this is n minus 1 pass, n minus 1 comparison, the first one. Then uh, R naught is initialized to 30H. <coughs> so 5 has come in accumulator. 
Now the pointer is pointing to 31H. So B contains 2. Now see the comp uh, carry flag now. A is, uh, contents of A is larger than B, right? So carry flag will be 0. So this condition will fail. So I need to exchange, right? Currently, the pointer is pointing to memory location 31H, right? And I have to move 5 to this location, okay? And 5 is stored in accumulator. I am taking only two numbers. Later, it is applicable for all. So that I am passing to 31H. So one data has come here. And to put 2 into the memory location 30H, I have to decrement the pointer. Because currently pointer is 31H, so I will decrement this. Pointer has become 30H, right? And this data was in B. So this I will put back to 30H. So the data has been exchanged. Now because I have to compare 5 with other 3 numbers, so I will again increment the pointer, right? So one comparison is over. Let me compare the next number. Now see here. Here, I am comparing 5 with 6 and 5 is smaller than 6, so carry flag will be set and there will be no exchange, right? You can see carry flag is equal to 1. So, this condition will be true and it will go to the next comparison, right? In the next comparison, I am comparing 5 with 1, right? 1 is smaller, so there will be a exchange, right? Then, now, I am comparing 3 and 6, right? So 6 is uh, larger, definitely there will be exchange. Now, all my n minus 1 comparisons are over, right? So in the nth minus 1th pass, n minus 1 comparisons are over. Now, I will decrement the pass count, which was 4. Now, it will become 3. So, you can see in the first pass, the largest number has come to the bottom, right? Similarly, I will do for all n minus 1 passes. You will see 5 will come after this pass. Right? So, 5 has come. Next, 3. And you can see already the data has been sorted. You can see 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. So, this is the logic for sorting an array in an ascending order. To sort for descending order, the only thing you have to do is just say jump on no carry. That's it. So, that will work for descending order.